Hey everybody, and welcome back to another Slow Lab video. Today on the channel, um, I'm actually going to make a remastered or a upgraded edition of my How to Make a Shooter game because that 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 one at that point I didn't really I really just discovered it, so I want to make a remastered version. Hopefully, getting more popular than the other other version. And if other people are looking at my old version, try and send them a link to this one. Or like if people on the Flow Lab um form are looking for it, just and you like you don't want to manually tell tell them, send them this video instead of my old one. Now in my old one, I had a pro. I didn't really show too much mm, I made and I had a problem where I didn't show people like for example instead of it being like the example you saw right there um let's put that it turned out to be like this and that's not good so I was gonna go back into the editor and fix my bow. Now, I'm going to. So yes, um, this is my remastered edition or upgraded edition of Flow Lab tutorial how to make a shooter. So your first step: get your character, and you want to get what your and you want to get um what do you want them to shoot so i just took some basic um blocks from the tutorial menu this is or like the the basic sprite menu because like there's a tutorial we should use sprites that are in the actual original tutorials so basically oh uh, so basically it's very simple so once you make your two objects you want to start and and I, at least I would go into the shooter one first. Now what you want to do is you is a <laughs> sorry you want to make it movable and you don't want it to be affected by gravity. If it is, then if it is affected by gravity, then it'll just fall down on the ground to moving, and it would just like go up in the air or anything like that. But yeah. So don't make it affected by gravity. Next, go into its behaviors. Put uh, put in an always, like I have there. Then you want to put in a number, like I put in there. Now, if you put and now if you're like if you add it, that's how. Now adding the number is how fast the block will go, and decreasing it is how slow the block will go. And like you basically get the gist. Um. And then last, uh, but so the last but not least, we have um, velocity that basically makes the whole thing move. So, and yeah, basically. <laughs> and what you want to do is you want to get always get the out into the in. If you put in the plus, then it'll make it that like it pluses into velocity, which is not correct. It won't do anything. If you put in set, set in plus. Really, set in plus, they're more for labels, kind of, and they would not work with the moving. And then velocity, well, it makes everything, it makes everything go forward, or like the speed, or, or like, like, it actually makes it move. So basically, I put on forward, and because that just makes it go forward, I don't want it to go anywhere else. But you can choose X and Y for if you want to make it go, like, up across wh wherever you want but yeah so after you've done that then you want to go to your character now I'm gonna guess you now I'm not gonna explain the run and jump since well there's already a tutorial about it on the official one and it's that's not what we're trying to run against but we're just going to so we're just going to assume that you already have a run and jump now, sorry, forgot to tell you, make this one movable, affected by gravity, and solid. So you go into the behavior, and your keyboard, so it's, it's there, a keyboard, on uh, like, well, it's basically what you press to create, whatever you want to do with it. So 
that we have game tree board it does not matter what what um like key what key you press you press like when like it doesn't matter what key you press all of them work as long as they're not like exclusive to that pc or something like that and yeah basically that's just what that's just what you use to shoot now i chose spacebar since it's simple now guys even if even if you like even if i would have changed it like if i changed it to this like it and like as you know of i'm guessing the default so when you move so moving right is also shooting is, is so moving right is also moving it so look like <laughs> So if I move right, I also spam it. So you could have. So make sure that if you want to have that more than one character does some more than one thing, then you can do that. But that's just what I'm giving an example of. And then, and then here's the emitter. The emitter is the thing that really like pushes, shoots it. So anyway, what you want to do is you want to place down the emit, which I believe is in the where is it where is it where is it it is in the components so I mean you grab the emmet right here you place it down and no god I forgot to mention this in the beginning but it's very important you name what your thing you're gonna want to shoot is because you're gonna need to go in let me just go back in. You're gonna need to go in, and you're gonna need to find that type of object you're going to shoot, and you want to put there. Now, I'm just gonna have. I'm just gonna expect you don't want it to expire. If you do want it to expire, then just press the every ten is one second. So just keep that in mind. But of course, I'm not gonna have that expire on this. Because I don't feel need to that, and then you you definitely need rotate objects. Let me give an example. If I even though I have already of what happens when you don't have rotate objects, the object simply simply just only goes forward. It could push you back. It's it's not good. It's it's not good at all. But if that's what you want to aim for, then do it. But I'm guessing everyone wants to be able to shoot left and right. So I'm going to go back in here. Go back to your character. Edit, behaviors, emitter, and make sure that rotate objects. And then once you put OK, OK, and play, that's basically it. You learned how to make objects, shoot, and yeah. Now, of course, I can, now, of course, uh, remember to like, subscribe, and if we get three likes on this video, I'll make a dungeon series where I tell you how to make a dungeon game in 4Lab. Well, that's it for this episode, guys. Bye.